Good morning everyone. I am Chinmay from 10th standard from Basveshwar CBC school. What type of reservations for education and employment is necessary? If there is reservation, it may affect the married students. How to change the system, sir? The assembly met in the year 1946 in anticipation of getting independence to this country. A discussion took place there stating that certain sections of the society in this country have remained backward because uh, they were never allowed access to education because of which they are not able to compete with other members of the society. Therefore, they should be given an equal opportunity to compete with others. For that sake, there is a need for some reservation. And the person who spoke in support of that reservation pleaded and said, keep or give reservation for 10 years only. Meaning thereby, by virtue of reservation, those people who belong to a particular community or communities could catch up with other members of the society and come to the same level. Today it is about 75 years since we got independence and almost 60 plus years since we accepted the constitution of India. But reservation is still there. Does it mean that the situation that prevailed in 1946 still continues to prevail is one of the questions that has to be answered. I'm not against reservation. People who have remained in unequal society may require some support. But who are those people who require support? In my opinion, there are people who still remain as backward as they were in 1946 because they did not get the advantage of reservation. In my opinion, today reservation is the privilege of the affluent and rich people in this society. Why should there be any reservation merely because the person belongs to a particular group or caste when he is a Supreme Court judge or he is a minister or he is an IAS, IPS officer? Therefore, in my opinion, keep that reservation. Give it to the persons who has not taken advantage of that reservation. Maybe one day by that process, everybody will become to the same. By making a person uh, the beneficiary of a reservation only because he is born to that community is not proper. The object was to give or bring those people who suffered to that level. We still have people who work in different areas who has no, couldn't afford education. Not, I wouldn't say that they didn't have access to education. For example, an institution like this gives education to everybody irrespective of the community. But there are still people who have not got advantage of it from other parts of the state. Confine the reservation to those families who have not taken advantage of that reservation. Otherwise, it will keep going to those people only, not to the people who are down below. That's the only way. I'm not asking close the reservation. Maybe the reservation has not really achieved what Baba Saheb Ambedkar wanted. It should be across the society and not to the benefit of those who have already taken advantage. A Supreme Court judge's son, a minister's son, a IAS officer's son has not suffered from want of educational benefits and all. They study in best of colleges, take the best of training before the uh, Public Service Commission examination. So can give it to others of that so that let them all come to this level.